the hype around the M5 MacBook Air. The MacBook Air has been one of Apple's most iconic and reliable devices for years. Known for its ultra-slim design, long battery life, and silent performance, it's often the go-to choice for students, creatives, and professionals alike. Now, the spotlight has shifted toward the upcoming M5 MacBook Air. And with that comes a storm of leaks, speculation, and early expectations. While the design isn't expected to change dramatically, what's happening under the hood is making tech. Enthusiasts take notice. Apple's strategy seems clear. Refine what works and boost performance with every generation. And this time, the performance jump could be quite meaningful if not revolutionary. But before we dive into the details, let's take a look at where we're coming from. How the current MacBook Air evolved and what you can realistically expect from the M5 generation, the evolution so far. From M2 to M4 to understand what's changing, we need to look back a little. Apple introduced the redesigned MacBook Air with the M2 chip back in 2022. It featured a clean new look. Rounded corners, MagSafe charging, and more modern color options. It was the beginning of a new chapter for the Air lineup then, in 2023. Apple launched a larger version, the 15.3-inch MacBook Air. This gave users more screen space without having to step up to the more expensive MacBook Pro line. It was a hit among those who wanted a bigger canvas but still valued portability and silence. Over raw power, fast forward to 2024, Apple quietly rolled out another upgrade, the M4 MacBook Airs. These machines brought meaningful improvements, like higher efficiency, better thermal control, and a stylish new sky blue color. Even though they didn't steal the headlines, they quietly reinforced the Air's position as one of the most balanced laptops in Apple's ecosystem. Current state of the M4 MacBook Air right now, the M4 MacBook Air is an incredible value for its price. In some regions, you can find the 30-inch or 15-inch models for around $800 to $850. With 16 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage, that kind of performance and efficiency at that price point is difficult to beat, even by Windows-based alternatives. You're getting MagSafe charging, two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports, excellent thermals, and industry-leading battery life. That makes it one of the most sensible purchases for anyone needing a reliable machine for daily productivity. C-O-D-I-N-G, photo editing, light video work, or even general content consumption. But now, attention is rapidly shifting to the next version, M5 MacBook Air. And while it may not look much different from the outside, what's coming inside could have a big impact on how it performs and feels in real-world use. No redesign yet, and that's not surprising. So, what about the design? Will the M5 MacBook Air bring a fresh new look? According to multiple sources and leaks, the answer is no, at least not yet. And if we look at Apple's design history, this makes perfect sense. Apple usually sticks with the chassis design for five generations or more, especially when it's been well received. We're only three generations into the current form factor. M2 and 2022 M3 was skipped for the Air lineup. M4 in 2024, and now M5 is expected in 2026. That puts us right in the middle of Apple's design cycle. So don't expect thinner bezels, new ports, or radical physical changes just yet. Both the 13.6 inch and 15.3 inch models will likely carry over the same clean. Wedgeless design, solid aluminum chassis, and color options from the M4 series. And honestly, that's not a bad thing. Apple nailed the design back in 2022, and it's still one of the most premium-feeling laptops in its price range. The M5 chip, a performance leap the biggest change with the upcoming MacBook Air, is, of course, the M5 chip. This is where things start to get exciting. While Apple hasn't officially announced anything yet, leaks and early industry reports suggest the M5 chip will bring a 25% performance boost across the board. That includes improvements in the CPU, GPU, and the neural engine, making this upgrade more than just incremental. The chip is expected to keep the same 10-core architecture, it's featuring six efficiency cores and four performance cores. However, we may also see bin versions with fewer cores, 
It's depending on how Apple wants to structure its pricing and yield strategy. This isn't new. Apple has done this before with the M1 and M2 chips, GPU gains from 10 cores to 12 cores where we might see the most obvious jump is in the GPU performance. For the first time since the M2, Apple could increase the core count from 10 GPU cores to 12. That's a fairly significant step forward, especially for users who dabble in graphics, work, video editing, or even some light gaming. Remember, Apple's integrated graphics have come a long way. They're optimized for macOS and are surprisingly efficient. Adding to more cores could unlock smoother rendering, faster real-time previews in Final Cut or Premiere, and more responsiveness in creative workflows. RAM and storage? Will Apple finally listen? When it comes to RAM, Apple seems locked into its new baseline. 16 gigabytes is now standard. 24 gigabytes and 32 gigabytes are optional upgrades. This is a welcome change. For years, Apple was criticized for shipping base models with just 8 gigabytes, which often felt limiting even for casual users over time. Now let's talk about storage, a topic that's been frustrating. MacBook users for years, Apple has kept the base storage at 256 gigabytes for too long. In today's world, with higher resolution videos, apps taking up more space, and cloud storage becoming more expensive. 256 gigabytes just doesn't cut it anymore. But the good news is, Apple might finally upgrade the base storage to 512 gigabytes in the M5 MacBook Air. This move would align Apple with broader industry trends and offer better value for users right out of the box. It's not confirmed yet. But multiple insiders and leakers have hinted at this change, making it one of the most anticipated improvements in the next generation. No. Old yet, and here's why now. Let's address one of the biggest rumors circulating. Old displays on the MacBook Air. As tempting as that sounds, the reality is disappointing for some. OLED is not coming to the M5 MacBook Air. Apple is planning a more cautious rollout when it comes to display upgrades. Instead of jumping straight to old, Apple plans to introduce oxide TFT panels, which are a more advanced form of mini-LED. These new displays are expected around 2027, likely in time for the M7 MacBook Air if not later. And true old MacBook Airs may not show up until 2029, it's potentially lining up with the M8 generation. In simple terms, if you're holding out for old or a promotion display on the MacBook Air, you'll be waiting for years. Apple seems to be saving. Those premium display upgrades for the MacBook. Pro line at least for now. Why, that's not a bad thing while no old might sound like a deal breaker to some. It's not all doom and gloom. The current liquid retina display on the MacBook Air is already one of the best in its class. It's color accurate, bright, and has great contrast for a standard LCD panel. And most importantly, strikes a perfect balance between quality and battery life. OLEDs, as beautiful as they are, tend to draw more power, especially when displaying bright content. For a laptop designed for all-day battery life, sticking with LCD still makes a lot of sense. Form factor, lightweight and durable still rules another. The reason why the M5 MacBook Air doesn't need a massive overhaul is because the form factor is already ideal. It's thin, it's light, and it's surprisingly durable. At just over 3 pounds for the larger model, and even lighter for the 13-inch version, remains one of the most portable productivity machines on the market and for people on the move students, writers, business travelers, that kind of design. Stability is a huge plus. No bulky fans, no sharp edges. It's just a sleek, silent machine that gets the job done. Price and release date expectations. So what's all this going to cost? The current expectation is that the starting price will remain. At $1,099 for the 39's model, however, if Apple does upgrade the base storage to 512 gigabytes, a slight price increase is possible. We might see the base model push up to $1,199 or even $1,249, depending on how Apple wants to frame it. Still, given the improved performance and potentially larger storage, that price bump could be justified. As for the release date, Apple usually refreshes the MacBook Air every two years. 
The M4 model launched in early 2024. The M5 MacBook Air is expected in spring 2026, with March being the most likely month. That timing lines up with Apple's traditional release windows and gives them enough space between the M5 chip debut and other product, R-O-L-L-O-U-T-S dot final thoughts, worth the wait? So, is the M5 MacBook Air worth waiting for? If you already have the M4 version, the answer depends on your needs. The M5 will be faster, potentially more efficient, and possibly come with better storage. But the design, screen, and ports are likely to stay the same. If you're using an older Intel-based MacBook, or something like the M1 or M2 Air, then the M5 could be a fantastic step EPS, especially if it ships with 512 gigabytes of storage and those extra GPU cores. In the end, the M5 MacBook Air isn't about changing how the device looks, it's about refining how it performs. And based on what we know so far, it could be one of the most balanced and value-packed laptops Apple has ever released.